here at the construction site, the team are going to build five colourful new houses. But these five old broken buildings need to go first. And smashing down old buildings is what Ryan was made for. There are five buildings to be knocked down. This building is by far the worst. I think it should be knocked down first. Crash and bash and smash some more. There were five, but now there's four. The second has a sturdy wall, but it's no match for Ryan's ball. Crash and bash and smash, hee hee! There were four, but now there's three! This third one's in a real state. Look at Ryan, he can't wait! Crash and bash and smash, woo hoo! There were three, but now there's two! The fourth building is just a shell. OK, Ryan, smash this as well. Crash and crash and smash. Well done. There were two, but now there's one. The final building that Ryan's found needs smashing down to the ground. Crash! Bash and smash. What a hero. There was one, but now there's zero. Smashing work, Ryan. Now Ryan's smashed up the old buildings. He's made a terrible mess. Danny the digger, Eric the excavator, and Dylan the dump truck can help tidy up. They'll make space to build the new houses. Thanks for visiting us today. We'll see you again soon. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello everyone! Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane has just knocked down a load of old buildings. My cleanup crew are here to clear the construction site, ready to build some colourful new houses. site isn't a safe place to play. You're supposed to be working as a team, helping your friends to clear the site. They can't do it without you. It's time to get back to work, please. Danny the Digger is using his giant shovel to push the rubble into larger piles. Eric the Excavator is using his bucket to lift the rubble up and load it into Dylan the dump truck. And Yellow Mechanical is making sure the trucks are working together as a team. Now Dylan is fully loaded, he's driving the rubble over to the recycling centre these old bricks will be smashed up into smaller pieces to help build new roads. Some of them will be ground into dust and used to make new bricks. Brilliant! Fantastic! Good work, everyone! By working together and helping each other, you got the site cleared. Thanks for visiting us today. It's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello everyone! 
Our friend Max the Monster Truck is here at the stadium. He's practicing jumps and flips for his new super stunt show. Max wants to attempt a 360 degree backflip. It's one of the most difficult things a monster truck can do. To perform a perfect backflip and land back on his wheels again, Max needs to flip all the way over. Not 90 degrees. Not 180 degrees. Not 270 degrees. But a full 360 degrees. That's a full circle. Max is getting into position. I think he's ready. Three, two, one. Go, Max, go! 90 degrees? 180 degrees? 270 degrees? Oh no! Oh Max, you nearly made it, but you landed very hard on your front wheels. I think you might have broken something. Let's check your steering. OK Max, try driving in a straight line. Oh dear. Now try turning left. Oh dear, oh dear. Now try turning right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not good. I think we need to get you to the garage right away. Hello, Tilly. Please can you come over to the stadium right away? Max needs your help. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you. Max's front wheels don't seem right. Could you tow him to the garage please? And can you give me a lift back too? Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Max turn. Max's jump didn't go well. That landing sure looked sore. I think his axle might be bent. Let's lift him to make sure. The axle connects to the wheels and helps Mac change direction. Just look at his wheels sag. He needs closer inspection. With a broken axle, Max can't jump. This really isn't great. I'll call on the mechanicals to get that axle straight. Go, go mechanicals! There, Max is looking much better now. Well done, Mechanicals. Hmm, I think Max needs more power to complete his backflip without crashing again. I'll get the Mechanicals to fit his engine with a turbocharger. The turbocharger fits onto Max's engine. 
to make him more powerful, so that he can go faster and jump further. Wow, listen to that! Sounds like Max is ready to try that jump again. Let's head back over to the stadium. Max is ready. Three, two, one, go! 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees, he's done it! A full backflip and a perfect landing. Well done, Max. I'm glad Max completed his amazing jump in the end, with a little help from his friends at Gecko's Garage. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you at the garage again soon. Bye! Where is Bobby? He's very late. Oh, hello everyone. You haven't seen Bobby the bus anywhere, have you? Bobby was supposed to be taking us back to the garage half an hour ago, but there's no sign of him. <laughs> it's so cold today, and Blue Mechanical forgot to bring his hat, scarf and mittens. Oh no, there's Bobby. It looks like he's stuck in the snow. He can't get out of that snow drift, and he looks very cold. That can't be good for his batteries. Just like us, Bobby the bus doesn't feel very well if he's too hot or too cold. His batteries work best when they are warm. Bobby's batteries can't give his wheels enough power when it's as cold as this, and his wheels don't have enough grip on the icy road. We need to help him right away. Come in, Tilly. I'm sending you Bobby's location now. Please can you come and rescue him from a snow drift? Make sure you put your snow chains on your tyres. The weather is terrible out here. Here comes trusty Tilly to ease poor Bobby's pains with her super grippy tyres and sturdy snow chains. She's so strong and steady, she doesn't make a fuss even when she's towing a big electric bus. I don't think Blue Mechanical's feeling very well either. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you? Let's head back to the garage to warm up. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need! Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Poor Bobby's wheels were really stuck. He couldn't make them go. And his batteries don't work so well under all that ice and snow. Now Tilly's brought him back here, out of the winter storm. We need those kind mechanicals to make poor Bobby warm. Go, go, Mechanicals! I don't think that little hairdryer will melt this cold snow shower. I think we need something with a little bit more power. That heater's more like it. He'll soon be warm and dried. But how can we keep Bobby's batteries warm when he's back outside? Ah, when we go out into the cold, we wear a winter hat. So they're knitting one for Bobby. Why didn't I think of that? Bobby can stay with us for now to keep warm overnight. He can go out in the morning as soon as it gets light. Good old Trevor the tractor. He's spending the evening clearing the snow from the roads with his snow plough. The snow is melting. Trevor has helped to clear the roads. 
and Bobby has his new hat to keep him warm. He's off to do his job and pick up some passengers. I'm glad we could get Bobby warm again. Remember to always wear your coat, hat and gloves when you go outside in the winter. Just like me and the mechanicals. Hang on a minute. What happened to poor old Blue Mechanical? Ah, there he is. Phew! That's looking great. Oh, hello everyone. Gecko here. Chelsea the Cherry Picker's helping me and the Mechanicals to decorate the town, ready for the big truck parade this afternoon. My truck friends are meeting up at Gecko's garage to get ready for the parade. Let's go visit them. Wow! There's lots of big trucks here for the parade. But where's Florence the forklift? I thought she was joining us. Oh, there you are, Florence. I couldn't see you behind Fiona the fire truck. Hmm, I think this might be a problem during the parade. We want to make sure that all of the trucks can be seen by everyone. I think we should parade through the town in size order, with the smallest truck at the front and the largest at the back. This is no good at all. The trucks are all jumbled up. We need the smallest truck on the left. That's you, Florence. And we need the biggest truck on the right. That's you, George. Who's the second smallest vehicle after Florence? It's difficult to pick. Tilly, maybe? Or Ryan? No, it's our road roller, Rick. Now, out of Tilly and Chelsea, who would you say is smaller? Tilly's hook makes her look tall, but Chelsea's arm can go taller. There, just move around a bit, and we have our smallest four. But now things get tricky, as it's time to sort some more. Max is big, but he'd be hidden by Ryan's arm and wrecking ball. But Fiona's even bigger. She's like a huge red wall. We'll put Max 5 and Ryan 6. Let's get them into line with Fiona number 7. Now we need an 8 and 9. Here are our last few vehicles. Next biggest is Bobby the bus. Then it's Larry the large lorry. Because George is enormous. So Bobby's 8th and Larry 9th. Which makes giant George the last. Now every vehicle will be seen when the parade goes past. Fantastic! Everyone is sorted into size order and ready for the parade. Let's go everyone, the crowd will be waiting. Florence the forklift, Rick the road roller, Tilly the tow truck, Chelsea the cherry picker, Max the monster truck, Ryan the wrecking ball crane, Fiona the fire truck, Bobby the bus, Larry the lorry, and George the giant dump truck. Whoa, what's happened? We've stopped. Oh, now I can see what's happened. Florence has broken down. And because everyone's in a line, Tilly can't get to the front to help out. Rick the road roller is blocking the way. What are we going to do? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, Helen!
Hello, Helen. Are we glad to see you? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Right, Florence. I think this is a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, mechanicals! Poor Florence. With that wonky wheel, we've really been delayed. But I'll get Helen to give us a lift to the end of the parade. Poor Florence has missed most of the parade. They've had to carry on without her. We'll have to drop her at the back of the line. Oh dear, this is no good at all. Nobody will notice tiny Florence behind giant George. And all she can see is George's back. This won't do at all. But I've got an idea. Hold on, Florence. Let's get you a better view. Hello again, Florence. Welcome to the best seat in the house. Now Florence is the highest in the parade. She can see everything from up here. And everyone can see her. Fantastic. I'm glad we could get Florence fixed up in time. Thanks for joining us today for the big truck parade. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And I'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! Gecko here! It's the end of a long day here at the garage and the mechanicals are getting ready for bed. Oh, Blue Mechanical, are you okay? Oh dear, it looks like there's a leak in the garage roof. We'd better go up there and fix it. Mechanicals, I need a volunteer to come and help me out, please. Thanks, Blue. Yikes, it's very rainy out here. Be careful, Blue. I think there's a storm coming. Ah! Oh no! Blue Mechanical's been struck by lightning! Are you okay, Blue? Come on over and let's get you into the garage and check you out. Poor old Blue Mechanical. It must have been very frightening. One minute you're working on the roof. The next, you're struck by lightning. Your friends have checked you over and listened to you whir and beep. Now they think you're probably okay. You just need a good night's sleep. Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful day at Gecko's Garage after the storm last night. How are you feeling, Blue Mechanical? There's no time for a break here at the garage. Here comes Max the monster truck. Max wants to go faster in his stunt show. So we're going to make some enhancements. Welcome, Max. With these changes we're going to make today, you're going to go as fast as lightning. Now, where did I put that screwdriver? Is it in this toolbox? No. In this drawer? No. Hmm. I really must get more organised. Now where is it? Hmm. Where's your wheel gone? Well, that is a mystery, Max. I'm sure it'll turn up. 
But in the meantime, let's paint a new design on you. How about a lightning bolt? Blue? Blue? Are you okay, Blue Mechanical? Wah! Blue! What's got into you? Wah! Stop that right now, Blue! Why are you being so naughty? Oh no! Look at the mess that naughty Blue Mechanical's made! He's malfunctioning! That means something is terribly wrong with his onboard computer. Blue, look at the damage you've done. How are we ever going to repair this? Oh, Blue, it's okay. We'll get to the bottom of the problem. I wonder if the malfunction was caused by that bolt of lightning last night. Oh no! Not again! Oh dear! He's on the loose and he could be anywhere! Mechanicals, we need to do everything we can to stop Blue! Go, go, Helen! Look, Mechanicals, there goes Millie the police motorbike. She's been called to an emergency. I just wonder if it's something to do with our blue friend. Let's follow her. Oh, look! Blue Mechanicals causing all sorts of trouble at the construction site. Gotcha! Come on, Naughty Blue. Let's head back to the garage and get you back to your old self again. Mechanicals, can you stay here and repair Rick and Celia, please? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a mechanical in need. We must fix Blue Mech's problem. This really can't go on. Some of the time he seems fine, but then he goes all wrong. He's really been so bad today, and not just once or twice. Something's made him naughty, when he's usually so nice. There's something up with his computer code. It's just one word that activates his mischief mode. Can you help me? What is the word on the screen? I can't say it, in case Blue turns naughty again. But you can. If you can shout it out, then maybe we can help. Shout it out! Yes! You're right! I'll do some quick programming to remove the mischief mode from Blue's system. Now, let's try saying that word again together. Ready? Lightning! <laughs> Hooray! You're cured, Blue. Thanks for your help on that. That's okay, Blue. Thank you for saying sorry. Look at all this mess. And poor old Max is still without his wheel. Look, Blue. Our friends have arrived to help tidy up the mess. And Red Mechanical has found your wheel, Max. That's what friends are for. It's amazing what you can achieve when friends all pull together. What you did was very naughty, Blue. But the most important thing is you said sorry and repaired the damage that you caused. Wow, what a day here at Gecko's Garage. We'll see you again next time. Bye!